been like a good long while since I um did um one of these tutorials, but I've had like lots of setbacks recently. I've been wanting to do this since like November, but I've had setbacks, you know. So now I'm I've got time to do it now. And what I'm be sh showing you today is um three three examples ways of how to um suffix hacks your um brawl iso's um smash bros sound thingy using how to insert them with the announcer files hexing and sonid files so first off let's go look for um f1 all right so we'd go on the brawl vault first and then go under suffix we're gonna look for an announcer um file thingy just um download whichever for the but for this video I'm gonna be um um using the melee roll announcer for Ike thingy. Now um I already have that as you see here so I'm not gonna download it again. But um anyway once you have that you're gonna go to over here and um type in or download something called Sodnid twelve and you know you would extract it download it and stuff and you're just basically gonna need three things from here you're not gonna need everything you're gonna need the um bra box text the uh, sodnis 12 you know the, these two and this bra box text is like the key to your hexing and where to insert your announcer file thingy explain that in a little bit anyway once you would download that uh um download this stuff you want to open it up and it would look like this now um for the group ID for like everybody for the first two group in collection the first one group is, is always gonna be um D uh, F so type in that and for collection it would always be 31 now for the wave ID, it is gonna vary um, for um, different characters. Now I know the download says for um, um, Ike, but I'm gonna use it for Diddy since I already have War over Diddy, and I know that Diddy's wave ID is gonna be 26. So I'll explain how I know that in a minute. So for now, I'll just insert 26 right here. All right, and. Uh, I would just press insert and you know your downloaded thingy the wave not the dat the wave you would just drag it onto here to wherever but I already got it so I'll just open and then yeah you would just press insert and you would just wait Um, a bit of warning, this, um, the, my voice in the video might go out of sync, so, I'm just warning you now, just in case that happens, but, the important part is that you guys will know how to do this, and that's really all that matters, so, just a bit of warning if that happens. It usually doesn't, doesn't take this long, but... Since I'm recording, all programs usually tend to slow down for some reason, but it's getting there. This is all normal. The black screen and everything. It's all normal. Okay, one file copied, wave, fix, fix, done. Alright, that's it. And um, that's done for announcer file thingies. Now you would need the Smash Bros. sound file with your sodnid file application together to work and it has to be named exactly like that or else it won't work exactly like that yeah it will mess up yeah and um recommended you're gonna might want to create a backup one you would do it through there just in case you mess up like um I have 
right there it would look like that okay anyways now we're gonna be inserting a dot sod nid file which is like the easiest one so I'm gonna be for this video I'm gonna be using um um a tails one from yeah download tails voice or meta knight and um for this video I'm gonna be using tails sonic colors um voice actor or actress whatever anyway you would just click it and press open simple as that and then the black screen would appear again and you would wait but like I said it does not take this long when you're doing it it's just rec you know re while recording it does take longer but it's usually like re like really fast so yeah you gotta wait for that well um well, while we're waiting for that um I guess I'll go ahead and like um look for the hex thingy our hex example and um for our hex example it's going to be um one for Ganon oh it, it just got done oh and you're going to need the brawl box text for the hexing part so you would um open your brawl box text And you know, this junk would pop up with the group IDs and what they're about and stuff. Now for the group ID for Ganon, I already know it's 1D. Like right here it says 1D, Ganon. Okay, so right here you would just insert 1D, simple as that. And for the, and which hex pack you may ask is, um, uh, it's gonna be like the king's voice and this is just an example <laughs> alright just in case you didn't know who that was anyway you just press um, well first you would download yours this is my example you would just download yours and it would hit b dot hex now this is my boy dot hex anyway you just drag it but I already have it so you know you would just press open once you have, have your group ID thingy and there was a black spot bar box thingy right there but it, it happens like super fast looks like nothing happened but it did happen it, it did insert your thingy that's like the fastest one anyway you minimize that you minimize that and um yeah all that's left to do now is like insert it through Wii Scrubber cause we just um did it okay so let's go Wii Scrubber open it up let's look for our ISO I've got mine so you would go to sound yeah in smash bros sound you would right click replace and then you would find wherever your edited sound file is wherever you put it with your sod nids program and you just click it you know those two have to be together click it and then you would um just go over and uh press uh open and yeah, it's um doing it. And um while it's doing it so I'll save some time. Um to view your sound stuff to make sure you didn't mess up, you're gonna type in something called Smashbox. Everything will be in the description that you'll need. You'll you'll need something called Smashbox. You'll download it. But I already have the application and stuff. So you just extract it somewhere. 
Alright, so you would open Smashbox and um, find your um, Smash Bros. sound, wherever yours is, you know, so we can view that the stuff, the sound stuff that we just did worked. Okay, let's look for the announcer. Go to groups, scroll down till you find... Um, Kara Call 31, which is why th the collection ID is 31 for announcer thingies. Um, just getting rid of this. Okay, anyway. And the waves, like I said, this is why um, all of them would vary because these are like the different announcer. Lucas. And see, this is Diddy's. And as you see, that um that worked. So we at least got something right. Uh, okay. Next is to check up on um um Tails's um sound voice thingy, which is over Meta Knight. So let's look for that. Okay, here it is. This one I think might be the voice. Let's check. Oh, I guess that was the sound effects stuff. Okay, and this should be the voice. See you later. Did you see that? Okay, weirdly enough, um that worked. So, um now let's check to see if um Ganon's voice changed into, you know, the king's. So, let's find his. Okay. It's this one. Dinner. Dinner. <laughs> and uh yeah, it's that seems to work too. And uh that's basically it for um suffix hacking on the ISO using this application. These two will be in the description. Everything you need will be in the description. And um yeah, that's basically to it. Um thanks for watching. This was like really fun to do and I hope I can do like more of these in the future. Comment, rate and subscribe because you know it helps me wanna do this stuff more and help help you guys out. So um yeah, thanks for watching.